Hi. Hello. How are we? I'm good. <laughs> You're nervous? Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Jules. Jules, Victoria. Pleased nice. to meet you, Jules. You Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. I'm Rachel. I'm Carly. Carly? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Uh, 13. 13? Yeah. Oh, I love being 13. That was great. First teenage year. What's your name? Alexa. My name's Jane. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> How long have you been playing football for? Um, probably about seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Wow. Or six years. Okay, so when did you start? Um, I started playing football when I was, I think, four. I played for a boys team and then just girls after that. Oh, okay. So do you play like quite? Did you play quite a lot in school? Yeah, yeah, I did as well. Like my favourite bit, going up to the playground yeah. and like trying to get the balls up. Off like the breaking boys. lunch. Yeah. But then, what? How do you find like in school and things? Do you think the boys are quite supportive of like girls playing football? Yeah, like most of the boys just kind of like think it's like not funny, but they kind of just think it's like oh you play football. Like, yeah. They like expect it to be the best. Yeah. How do you find that? Do you, do you not, you don't care or? Nah, it doesn't really bother me too sure. Yeah, that's really good. I think it's important that you kind of stand up for what you want to do. For me, it was my confidence, especially when I first joined Rangers because I was younger. My confidence wasn't really high. I think as, like, as I got in it and as I got to know the girls, my confidence definitely like started getting higher and higher as I got into the team. For me, obviously growing up in the generation that I have, there's always like challenges along the way. Um, I think the game's grown massively since I was your age yeah, to where it is now. Better. And obviously to be able to make a career out of it now and to be able to play professionally is something that's fantastic to see here in Scotland. I started playing football um, with my brother and his friends at school. We just started kicking the ball around um, in the playground and that's, that's how I first got into it. And, I think the thing that I love about football is that um, I get to escape kind of normal life for an hour and a half or however long training is yeah. um, and kick a ball around with my friends yeah. and I think that's a really neat part about football and no matter where you play in the world, um, whether it's in New Zealand or in Scotland, um, it's nice to be part of a team and, and amongst players who have the same goal which is to, to play football and to hopefully win games and I think that's uh, the camaraderie is probably my favourite thing about football. Do you have a favourite thing about football? My favourite thing about football is probably, um, like I love making teammates and then um, building relationships so you can get some good chemistry on the pitch. Yeah. Um, with playing it up or playing it down the field. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's very true. And do you have good teammates? Yeah. Yeah, good. You have some good uh, combinations on the field and yeah. you can go and score. Yeah. Yeah, you do the final work. You <laughs> can celebrate. Yeah. How did you get into football? So, similar to you, I was about eight. So yeah. I used to play in school. I used to have to fight the boys <laughs> to try and play because yeah. they just, it, it was all right, but they weren't that keen. Yeah. Um, and there was only maybe one or two in the school that played that were girls. Yeah. Whereas it's probably a bit more equal now, is it? Yeah. Do you have more girls that play than well, before I was probably one of the only ones, but like now I know like a few girls from school that play football at like in our league and stuff. Yeah, it makes you feel a bit more confident, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, what was it like being in like, the Scotland squad? Being in the Scotland squad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, it's obviously a huge honour to play for yeah. your country, um, to be selected and to be away. Uh, I think there's always a good like camaraderie with the national team yeah. and a good togetherness, so it's always fun to be away as well with the girls and yeah, be a part of that group. I think it's fantastic nowadays that football has come a long way and it continues to grow, especially in Scotland and down south in England. Um, and I think on TV now you can watch the you know the Euros and the World Cups and the Olympic Games and mm -hmm. it's much more visible. So um, I'm, I'm delighted that people have the opportunity to see more football and to um, dream about football. So I think uh, the advice I could give you is to, to keep dreaming and to keep aspiring to want to achieve those big things. But the most important thing is to try and enjoy it along the way. Yeah. And it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you lose a game, it might feel like the end of the world. But if you can just remember that um, there'll be another game and another training session. Mm -hmm. And if you're starting your career at four years old, which you have, um, and hopefully you can go through for many, many years, then you've got a lot of um, exciting times ahead of you. Yeah.
it just used to make me forget about everything. Yeah. And then I would just feel so relaxed all the rest of the time because I knew I had an outlet to like be crazy and, yeah. and and shout and scream and have fun and do you find it like it's like that as well? Yeah, it's like good like you could have a bad day at school and then you come to football and eat and it's like you just forget about it. Yeah, smash a few balls around and yeah. like you just go home smiling then. Yeah, I think it's really important that like if it's not football you do it in something else. Yeah. Or, and I think sport is really important for that as well. Yeah. For a lot of people growing up. Having like an outlet to use that energy, like if it's negative energy, you put it into something and they can be so successful. Yeah, yeah it's good though. You've got everything that you need if you want to be successful. Um, sometimes people aren't the most talented footballers, but if you put your mind to it and you work really hard, you can be really successful. Yeah. And that's why you always have to remember, you just put your heart into it. If you want to do it and don't let anybody tell you that you can't, because you can. Yeah, of course. Tell your parents that we're not shipping you off to New Zealand. Or... <laughs> With the role as a professional footballer comes the responsibility of being a role model, whether that be to younger females or younger males. Obviously, it's great that now the younger generation have female role models to look up to. Um, when I was that age, it was only male footballers that were in the media, on the TV, like that you were able to aspire to be. I think it's so important that as females and as older players, like we keep pushing for more and more and more to make it easier for the younger generation to come into and to show them that there are those examples of players to look up to and aspire to be. I like playing football because it's just amazing to experience playing with teammates and it's good because they help you with support like when you get mistakes or even if you win something they're like really nice and comforting. They celebrate with you and like make sure you feel at home and nice. <laughs> I've always liked team sports, especially more than individual sports, and been lucky enough to play in a few different countries. And no matter what country I've gone to, I've always enjoyed the team. And um, you win together, you lose together, and, and football can be a roller coaster of emotions at times. And to know that you always have a, a team to go through those emotions with, um, to me, is pretty special. And yeah, there's nothing like uh, winning with some of your best friends by your side. And that's why it should be so inclusive of everybody, no matter where you come from, what your background. Um, it should always be like that, it should always be diverse. And I just think it is so important that, you know, we don't hold up on how much has progressed over the last few years, the f you know, decade or two, and we keep pushing for that. And International Women's Day is just another day that we can really own it and kind of push that forward. <laughs>